Hello Shipra. Hello ma'am. If you remember in our previous lesson we discussed some of first n terms of a GP. Yes ma'am. Do you remember the result? Yes ma'am. What the is it? The sum is given by Sn is equal to A into 1 minus R to the power n upon 1 minus R where R is less than 1 or we can write as A into R to the power n minus 1 upon R minus 1 where R is greater than 1. That's right. And we discuss some applications of this formula. Today we are continuing with the same result and we are going to consider some direct and some indirect applications of it. To start with a simple and interesting problem for you. Let's see what it says. The question says a person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great grandparents and so on. Find the total number of ancestors which a person has in the last 12 generations, assuming there are no intermarriages. Well, the question does seem to be something out of the league right now. But if you look at the closely, what it gives you is a geometric progression. The GP as starting with two parents, then four. 8 and so on and you are asked to find the sum, the total number of ancestors in the last 12 generations. So you have to add the series to 12 terms with A as 2, R also as 2, it is 2 to the power therefore 12 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 and this is exactly what will give you the total number of the ancestors for that particular person and it comes out to be you can just work it out it will be same as 8190 so it he has these many ancestors in the previous 12 generations a simple one let's take another one where you will be really tested for both the results that we have learned so far in GP the question says the common ratio of a geometric progression is 3 and the last term is 486. If the sum of these terms be 728, find the first term. What you have to do is read the question and first identify what is given to you. Shipra, let us see what you can identify here. It is given that R is equal to 3. That is right. And nth term is N 486. So, T n is 486. And the sum of these terms say n s is S n. S n is equal to 728. That is right. So, knowing all this you have to find A. We know the formula for nth term and we know the formula for S n we have to apply both here. So, starting with T n, you know that T n is equal to A into R to the power n minus 1 and therefore, it is given to be same as 486 which gives you A into 3 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 486 or which has us as given as 486 by 3 to the power n minus 1 the value of a. Let us number it as 1. The second information that is given is on sum. Sn is given to be 728 and therefore, a into r to the power n minus 1 
by r minus 1 should be equal to 728 and as you put the value of r and also replace a by the value that we have just derived from information 1 that is given to us, you will be able to see that you get the equation as 486 by 3 to the power n minus 1 into 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 which is 2 is equal to 728. Now, all this just needs to be solved for n. So, we have to simplify and collect the terms such that 3 to the power n can be identified to be equal to a certain number. What you get is 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 3 to the power n to be same as 728 into 2 upon 486 into 3. I have rewritten that 3 to the power n minus 1 as 3 to the power n divided by 3 and rearranging the terms you will have this. Left hand side is actually nothing but 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n and as you simplify here you will be able to see it simplifying to actually nothing but 728 upon 729. Is it so? You can cancel the factors and so from here you get 1 by 3 to the power n to be equal to 1 minus 728 by 729 and so it is equal to 1 by 729 and that needs to be written as a power of 1 by 3 and it is same as 1 by 3 to the power 6. Therefore, n equal to 6 and we have to find a. So, from our first condition we know that a is equal to 486 by 3 to the power n minus 1. Now, n is equal to 6, so it is 486 by 3 to the power 5 and on simplification it gives us nothing but a as 2. A question which use both the results, the nth term and the sum of us in terms of a geometric progression. Now, we have another special question where you will find the use of sum of first n terms of a GP in a very special way. Look at the expression. You are asked to evaluate, evaluate summation, this sign which we read it as sigma, sigma n varies from 1 to 10 of 2 to the power n plus 5 to the power n minus 1. Now, what you have here is as I said earlier summation. So, it is actually sum of lot of terms written in a compact form using the sigma sign and so if you look at its expanded form you will immediately be able to realize why we are doing this question right now. Let me write its expanded form for you. What it is equal to as you take the value of n as 1, it is same as writing 2 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 0 and as you take the next value of n put a plus sign and you get 2 to the power 2 plus 5 to the power 1 and similarly 2 to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 2 and this goes on up to the value of n as 10. In actual what it is is nothing but 2 series 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube and so on and the second series is 5 to the power 0 or I can write it directly as 1 now plus 5 plus 5 square and so on. I hope now Shipra this is going to make some sense. Now, look at the first bracket and see if you can identify what is given to us. It is given that A is equal to 2. So, this is a GP. Yes, ma'am. With A as 2. Right. R is equal to 2. Right. And, and how many n, terms? And n is equal to 10. N is 10. The number of terms is 10. 10. Similarly, the second series. Is yes. it again a GP? Yes, ma'am. With A as? 1. So, this is again a GP with 
A as 1, R as 5, right and how many terms? 10. 10. So, again we have 2 GP with A, R and the number of terms known and so we can easily sum up both the series. It actually is same as writing using the formula A, R to the power N minus 1 upon R minus 1 and the second series is starting with 1. So, it is A R to the power N which is 10 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 which of course can be simplified to a certain extent but do not bother with simplifying the powers of 2 and 5 here. Leave it at that and this is same as writing it as divided by 4. You may simplify 2 and minus 1 etcetera, but this is what actually is the value of that expression which was given to you in a compact form using the summation sign. This was one of the ways where we will be able to reduce it to sum of terms of a geometric progression. Let us see what those series are. You have the series as 7 plus 77 plus 777 and so on and we will be interested in their sum to n terms. Similarly, you have series where you have 0.4 plus 0.44 plus 0.444 and so on. 6 plus 6.6 .6 plus 6.6 .6 and so on. What you can see here is that there is a certain pattern present, but the series given is definitely not a geometric progression. Shipra, see if you can identify what the next term here is. Yes, ma'am. 7 written 4 times. 7 written 4 times. So, you do agree that there is a pattern present and it is very easy to distinguish such series. To find this sum, we will use a special technique which will work broadly speaking for all of them, but it does require a little bit of improvisation as we go along. Let me start with the first of them and show you how we can add the series to n terms. Consider the series 7 plus 77 plus 777. Since I want the sum to n terms, let me write Sn to be equal to 7 plus 77 plus 777 and so on. Excuse me ma'am, should we not write the last term here? Well, generally we do say that Sn means up to the nth term and so you should write the last term, but here we will actually not require it. But I hope you can identify what the nth term is going to be. Yes ma'am, 7 written n times. Definitely. So, actually it is not going to serve any purpose as you will see in a moment and you will agree with me then that we do not need to write it down. So, we will just keep it here and understand and remind ourselves as we go along that there are n terms that we are adding up. Step 1, what we do here is we rewrite this by taking 7 common which is quite apparent and so it reduces to this. Further to get what we want, we multiply and divide by 9. Right now it does not make much sense, but as we go along you will see the purpose behind this special step. What we have managed to get is this 9 can always be identified as the difference of 10 and 1 and so is 99 the difference of not 10 but 101. Similarly, 999 is the difference of 1000 and 1 and so on, it goes on. Now, what you have got here can be rewritten as S n is equal to 7 by 9 which will stay out and the rest of the terms are actually 10 minus 1 plus 100 is same as writing 10 square and 1000 is same as writing 10 to the power 3 and so on as I said. So, on means again up to n terms. Again what you have got is 7 by 9, collecting the terms which are similar, it is 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube. This is going to be your first series and this 1 can all be collected together 
as taking minus common 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on. Now, what do we have here? Can you identify what we have here as 10, 10 square, 10 cube? Yes, ma'am. Here A is equal to 10. So, that means it is again a GP. Yes, So, this was the purpose behind the exercise. What you have got is starting with the series which was not related to a geometric progression. You have reduced it to a series where the GP is easy to be identified. And therefore, this is a GP with A as 10, 10 R as 10, 10. And how many terms to be added? N terms. N terms. 1 plus 1 plus 1. What is this? It means that 1 is to be added n times. And so, do we know its value directly? It will be 1 added n times and so, it is basically 1 plus 1 plus 1. That means n. And therefore, we are in a position to give a final shape to the things. Applying the formula here, a into r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1. So, r is 10, a is also 10. 1 added n times means n. Not much can be done, but let us just simplify this to 10 into 10 to the power n minus 1 by 9 minus n. And this is what the sum of n terms of the series 7 plus 77, 777 etcetera comes out to be. So, a specific technique is required to add up such series. A next series also can be added with the similar technique. Since there is a decimal there, it will require some change also. Let us take it up. You are asked to sum to n terms 0.4 plus 0.44 plus 0.444 and so on. So, again as in the previous one, let us start with Sn to be same as this sum that we need. And again, we do not have to write the nth term. As you could see now, in the last one, we actually just needed a reminder that we are adding n terms. Here, we have the series added up as written as Sn. Step 1 and 2 will remain almost the same. You can combine them together, in fact, and write by taking 4 common and multiply and divide by 9. You will get 0.9 plus 0.99 plus 0.999 and so on, right. Now, the purpose is to write this as the difference as we had done in the previous one. In the previous one, it was 9, so we could write it as 10 minus 1. Now, you have 0.9. So, 0.9 can be written as difference of, see if you can manage, try that turns out to be not 10, but 1 minus, 1 minus 0.1. For those who are still struggling with it, they may just convert 0 0.9 to 9 by 10. And think of 9 by 10 as 10 minus 1 by 10, which is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 10. And therefore, it is same as 1 minus 0 0.1. Similarly, 0.99 can be written as 1 minus 0.01 plus 1 minus 0 0.001. Again, the sum goes on and we have n terms to be added up. Let us rewrite and see what it actually is. Sn that you require is equal to 4 by 9 that stays as it is. You have 1, 1, 1 coming from all those n brackets and you have the special series which can be written as minus. Now, I am reconverting decimals and writing it as this so that it becomes easier for you to see what we are doing. 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 square, you can write 0 0.01 as that and so on. Again, n terms in the series. So, it is equal to 4 by 9. We are back to the same situation. 1 is added n times, so directly clearly it is n. This is a GP, a GP with A as 1 by 10, R also as 1 by 10 and we are adding n terms 
and so it is same as n minus a into since r is now less than 1 I am directly rewriting the formula as 1 minus r to the power n which will become 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power n by 1 minus 1 by 10. Some simplification here is required you can rewrite it as 4 by 9 into n minus you can see this is becoming 9 by 10 and that gets cancelled with the 10 here you are left with only 1 by 9 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power n and that is what the sum of n terms is actually and so the same procedure repeated almost mechanically but a small change definitely was required and so will it be in our next series let's look at it you have to find the sum to n terms of the series 5 plus 0.5 plus 0.55 plus 0.555 so on now you can see if I hide this 5 what you are left with is exactly what we have done in the previous case of course now you have 5 instead of 4 but this 5 is definitely making a difference what difference let's see let's write Sn to be equal to 5 plus 0.5 plus 0.55 plus 0.555 and so on and remind yourself again there are n terms in it now what you have just seen was this series so we can repeat the procedure on this as in the last case that means if I do not have this 5 out of n I have taken out 1 and so I am left with n minus 1 terms so whatever we have done in the previous case will now be done for a series which instead of n will have n minus 1 terms do remember it so what I do is now I keep this 5 out and repeat the procedure on the rest of them that is take 5 out divide and multiply by 9 rewrite it as 0 0.9 plus 0 0.99 plus 0 0.999 and so on so it's same as 5 plus 5 by 9 and rewriting it again as in the previous case I'm writing it directly now 1 minus 1 by 10 plus 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power 2 plus so on this is same as that is your Sn is same as now 5 stays out plus 5 by 9 into sum of 2 series in which 1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 and the other is minus out again 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 square and so on. So look closely you can see what is going to happen next. Shipra concentrate here and see 1 plus 1 plus 1 can we add it up yes ma'am what is it 1 is added n times no I just reminded you and corrected you earlier you can see that we have now n minus 1 terms of the series not n terms so the procedure that we are now applying is on a series which has n minus 1 terms so 1 is added n minus 1 times so it needs to be written as n minus 1 similarly in the next this is a gp with a as 1 by 10 r is also 1 by 10 so it's 1 minus r to the power n now here number of terms is n minus 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 10 this is something which you have to be very very careful about therefore rearranging it is 5 plus 5 by 9 and it is over with a little simplification here 1 by 9 into 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power n minus 1. You can very well leave your expression as this also but since you have a minus 1 here and a minus 1 by 9 coming here do simplify it a little bit further to an extent where it can be written as 5 plus 5 by 9 
into n and you have here minus 10 by 9 opening the bracket of course, will change the situation here plus 9 into 10 to the power n minus 1 and that is what the sum required is. And so, Shifra, this is where we wind up our lesson for today. In our next lesson, we are going to consider some very special series and their applications. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome.